Ladies and gentlemen, how's it going? It's Pennsylvania. I got another video for you. This time it's going to be Octopus 64-bit and Fortnite. We're going to hop right into this. i um, going to make it a quick video. So I'm going to go to our Octopus app. 64-bit. This is a paid app on the Google Play market. It's going to be um, 99 cents. So spend a buck. And you'll be able to play Fortnite on your PS4 controller or whatever Bluetooth controller you're going to use. Um, so as you can see, I got Fortnite right here. This is the only game so far that I have that's compatible with it. If you try to put PUBG on it, um, it says it's a 32-bit game. And it asks you if you want to launch the 32-bit version of Octopus. Um, you have to have that downloaded, but then that'll launch automatically from this app, which is kind of cool. Um, so we're going to connect our device. If you don't know how to do that, you're going to take your... PS4 controller, it's got to be the Pro, um, and you're going to press the PS button and the share button at the same time, hold it down until it blinks, it's a little hard to see, but it is blinking, and you're going to go to Bluetooth, and hit wireless controller, and it automatically syncs up for you. It's very awesome that Android and Sony allowed this to happen. So what I'm going to do is hit Fortnite and it's going to launch it separately. If you have uh, launched it separately um, through your, you know, through your phone, um, it is going to launch it again and make you sign in and do all that stuff over again. I can show you how to configure this real quickly. It is easy. Um, it don't have that many buttons in the first place. So I'll do that for you. loading there we go almost So I'm going to go ahead and go to the playground just so we can set this up harm free and then I'll do a little gameplay afterwards to show you that it actually works. I know you guys have been waiting for this. Sorry for the uh, delay. I got a little busy but I'm here for you. No worries. Just to show you. So I already am using my controller because I have it configured already. It is pretty smooth. It did drop me one time when I first tried it, so we're going to see if it's going to keep me logged in this time. Press X to jump out and look at that smooth like butter. It's cool. Octopus is a really great app. I hope nothing ever happens to it. <laughs> to show you. Not bullshitting you guys, don't worry. This works. It's worth your buck. It's worth my buck. See what I mean? It's pretty awesome. X to jump. You can choose whatever you want. Alright. 
So I gotta decipher what I wanna do. Maybe put a button right in the middle there to uh, you know pick things up manually, but I'm gonna just touch the screen. Pressing L2 and then R2 to shoot. It'll be a hell of a lot quicker. Another one. I think I'm going to cast this to the TV eventually. I'll do a video on that. I know you can play on PS4 and all that and this and that, but guess what? I like to do things my way. All right, quick configuration. You're going to hit the octopus at the top there. And you're going to hit, I'm sorry, not that one. You're going to hit the plus button. That's going to bring up your keys. See that? You can add a new key and place it anywhere you like here. Touch it, drag it. To delete these, just press the X that's next to them. I got fat fingers. This is why I'm using a controller. I'm trying my stylus. I don't have. All right. One second, guys. All right. So hit the plus, drag it over to the fire button, and hit whatever button that I want to designate that. I'm going to hit R2, it comes up RB, drag another one, jump, it's going to be X, drag another one, crouch will be circle, drag another one over, target's going to be L2. I don't need a D-pad. My left analog is going to go over left analog. I'll resize it. And your right analog, place it right there. And maybe I'll just add another one for build. Let's make that square. And a key for inventory down. I'll add some more later, but let's get some basics down. So as you can see, I'm moving around as freely as I want. This is pretty badass. It works the same way for PUBG, guys. Check out my video for that one. But this is just playground. Um, I don't want to make this video too long. I'll make another one with just actual gameplay, playing a full game, and see how we do. Um, it's not going to be exactly easy, but it's going to be a lot easier than playing with these damn on-screen controls, for sure. So, thanks for watching. Uh, please subscribe. Uh, my uh, goal is 2,000 subscribers now. I already hit my 1K. Um, we're going to see how we go from there. But thank you guys for all the support so far. I'll keep it coming. Take care.